Another type of conic section called a hyperbola. It looks a whole lot like the ellipse. I'll write it out for you. Looks like this. Oops, sorry. I'll include the h in the k as well. x minus h quantity squared over a squared. Looks the same, doesn't it? y minus k quantity squared over b squared equals 1. Everything's the same except this. It has a subtraction in it instead of an addition. This changes everything. <coughs> the good news is when you go about the graph, when you start graphing this thing, you do the exact same things you did when you did the ellipse. So I'm going to write my equation x minus 2 squared over 9 minus y plus 5 squared over 16 1. Do the exact same thing we did with the ellipses. Find your center, find your a, find your b, <coughs> and draw your points. But don't put any of them in, in purple or black or whatever, whatever color you're using for it. I'm going to put them all in blue. because they're not part of the graph. Not yet. So we don't want to do that? Yeah, do everything the same until we get to the point part, where we're going to, just before we draw the curve, we have to do something entirely different. We zero it out. Where's our center? What's your A? true. 
Now my curve does not curve inward, it curves outward because of the subtraction here. Here's what happens. This curve gets closer and closer and closer to that line, but it never touches it. It just gets closer and closer and closer. It goes like this. It comes up here, and then it gets closer and closer and closer, and almost touches it, but not quite. And then it goes down and gets closer and closer. You guys played this game with your sister or brother, right? I'm not touching him. I'm not touching her. That's an asymptote. Now my other curve is over here, right here. So we just get close to it, but we don't... You get closer and closer until, in fact, if you were to graph this and graph the lines, they would look like they were on top of each other because they'd be so close together. They'd be within a tenth or a hundredth or a thousandth of a unit. They get so close that you can't tell them apart. Y'all see the stuff in blue? That does not make this true. Only the points in purple make the equation true. Got it? Let's try it. Try another one. This time I'll drive in black. Let's go with x plus 4 squared over 25. There it is. Give it a shot. Got the points on there okay? Three box. Get them in there? Now, just as a what if, guys, if these were switched, then my y would be first and I would use these curves right here because this points would be correct. Since the x is first, we're going this way.